Welcome to Take a Side, the sports talk show that lets you, the viewer, choose our winners. As always, head over to Sided.co and download that Sided Debates app for your chance to climb up that leaderboard and take home a $25 Amazon gift card. Shout out to last week's winner, Philip, for ending True Hotel Guru's run atop the Sided leaderboard and taking home first place. We've got a great show for you today. Starting us off, we're talking about the news surrounding Kansas football head coach Les Miles. Miles and the University of Kansas have parted ways effective immediately following recent sexual misconduct allegations that surfaced from Miles' time at LSU. I'm joined now by Maya Peterson and Max McElroy to debate on whether or not KU made the right decision to fire head coach Les Miles. Yes, so Max, as Jacob said, they parted ways last night. There's a lot going on in the news from recruits, what to do next, next head coach. What do you think? I think that KU could not catch enough of a bad break uh, for <laughs> KU football team. Um, no, so this, this whole situation, I think, is, is just kind of a, a mess. And um, I do think that I do not obviously condone the, the allegations of Les Miles. However, I don't think that this is something that KU can really afford to have happen because okay. they just settled a, you know, $2.5 million to our previous head coach, David Beatty, and, and now it's, we're, we're losing another head coach, and you know, we don't know how that's going to affect your recruiting. Like Les Miles has brought in the best two recruiting classes Kansas has had in either maybe ever or an incredibly long time. So I don't know if this is something that, you know, as the University of Kansas, that, as a football program, I don't think they can afford. See, that's where it gets tough. I'm like, can they afford to lose him? Or could they have afforded to lose him compared to what he's doing and everything with that? But the way I looked at it is LSU put out a statement when they fired him or parted ways with him. And their main statement was whether they can prove his allegations or not, they had to have the conversation on, can we explain what's going to be worse to explain, him staying or him leaving? And I think for... A KU program that is, like you said, had the top two recruiting classes, had their first four star with Quay Davis coming in and Dev Neal, number one in Kansas. What program can we build around them to help their marketing when they go to the NFL? And what program are we trying to consistently build up? Yeah, and, and Les definitely, I don't think he necessarily won a lot, but you know, he, he wasn't really playing with his guys a lot. Last year he played, the, it was the most freshman in FBS, 35 freshmen got um, playing time, and I think 13 of them were starting. Um, so I think, you know, he, I think he did bring a lot of good to this program. Now, these allegations were something that LSU could not prove at LSU. Right. So then you always ask the question of how much does that relate to KU now um, if there's been nothing else that has been really like said. Um, I think the problem, however, the major problem is that I think Jeff Long is someone who really shouldn't be <laughs> hiring another head coach because okay. I think this head coaching search for specifically Les Miles was way too quick. Um, and I think that, you know, he's kind of seeing the, the backlash towards that now. Yeah, I agree, especially when you're looking at it of a team. Your quarterback is supposed to be your leader. The quarterback is supposed to be able to make good decisions for the team itself, call the plays at the right time. And Jeff Long and Les Miles are your sense of quarterback and head coach in this situation when it comes to the program. And Jeff Long hired their quarterback at the time that seemed to be qualified and great, but his experience can't always top what his history was, and that goes into his character. It goes into everything that you want to put into a program, and I'm with you. Jeff Long and Les Miles somewhat have the same characteristic standpoints when we're talking about this subject, and I don't, I'm with you. Well, they when, you're talking step about, away. when you're talking about rebuilding a program, it's like the recruiting is, is so important, and I think yes. that that's something that if KU has any chance of becoming a winning football program, I think that that's something that needs to, you know, it needs to stay good. The recruiting needs to stay top tier. And I think that's something that Les brought, which might be something that is going to be a tough sacrifice. Yes. Um, from recruits, I hope no one decides to decommit or people decide to transfer, transfer. But if they do, we understand at this point for KU football. But all we can do is hope that something happens to help KU football remain in their position for recruiting hopefully win a game next year. It's, it's going to be a toss-up, but that's all we have for this argument. Jacob, any thoughts? Oh, we'll see what, what comes out in the coming days, but for now we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be right back.